favorite face makeup of 2022. But a number of these are actually 2021 year-end purchases, but I got around to testing them out this year. Uh, for another thing, I repurchased a couple of them this year, so they are in 2021 favorites. Uh, at least one of them is a 2021 launch, and uh, I wasn't going to buy any foundation at all, but I received a free sample with purchase of another product from the same brand. I absolutely adored the formula. It is solely responsible for my skin looking remotely presentable, remotely um, appearance worthy on camera, remotely palatable on camera. Please close your eyes if you are squeamish or easily upset. Trigger warning, go right ahead, gory skin ahead. Yeah, uh, close your eyes, please. So otherwise, without this foundation, my skin looks like that, awful. If my skin, yeah, please open your eyes now. If my skin uh, is looking remotely normal, it is because of the Lisa Railbridge Seamless Skin Foundation. My shade is number 17. I have done a video introducing this as well as Lisa Railbridge Velvet Blush Lightly, late 2021. But I promise a dedicated video on this foundation alone. I don't really like the bottle. It needs to be kept on the splinth all the time or laid flat like that. I don't like that because I'm one of those very careless people used to a certain kind of shape of foundation bottle. So you end up doing that, yeah? You end up placing it like that as you do with, I don't know, MAC or Huda Beauty or any other foundation. And that's not nice. So it needs to be in that plinth all the time. I have a nasty feeling that this foundation bottle will come to a very tragic end at my hands very shortly. So hopefully that won't be until after I've finished this video and have put a huge dent into this product, but you know, I doubt it. So this is, this, why do, why is it my favorite? You've seen the results, people. My skin looks, yeah, the way I showed you. And this foundation is solely responsible. I'm not coming too close to the camera for this reason, because my skin looks, is under shine right now. So that's uh, absolutely my top favorite uh, makeup product, face makeup product for 2021. I think it's a huge game changer. The finish is incredible. Uh, once there's dry down, once dry down happens, I feel that it is a very powdery finish. At the same time, it's not massively drying terribly. I'm going to, you know, rake out every nanoliter of moisture from your skin drying. Either it's it's a sort of soothing but powdery finish. Yeah, if I do that, I get powder residue on my fingers. Not a good idea to touch my face, particularly when it's so sore. That is why I like this foundation. And uh, it is oil free. I will be repurchasing it, definitely, once I run out. Right, the next product. Uh, this is the year when I've gone wholeheartedly 2021, into tinted moisturizers, BB creams, CC creams, that sort of product. Remind me to do a dedicated video on my favorite oil-free, suitable for oily skin, tinted moisturizers, BB creams, CC creams, and so on. So this is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Oil-Free, a recent launch. And yeah, this contains SPF 20. The Lisa Rail Ridge is SPF free. So this is a tube like that. Yeah, uh, this is easier packaging. You can, you know, do that and it stands. <laughs> because, you know, when you're in a hurry, you aren't going to bother about the shape of the bottle. You're going you know, to put it back the way you, your body is normally used to placing foundations, you know, sort of mortar memory or whatever the phrase is. And when there's a pointy ended bottle like that, disaster recipe. People. So this is not a very matte finish. It's a sort of semi matte finish on me and uh, uh, the coverage is quite sheer. All it does is even out skin tints. But this is the year when I've discovered tinted moisturizers, lighter coverage on my face. Why? Because there's less transfer to masks. With foundation, you can't just put foundation on your forehead in here. With tinted moisturizer, all you do is cover these areas and then your mask. And even if you do get product here, it's not going to transfer to your beautiful Lord of the Rings themed mask. So yeah, 
I prove for lighter coverage for going out and I now use foundation purely for food. So will I repurchase this? Absolutely, yes, will do. Love it. We'll do a post later. Now, technically this was a 2020 purchase, the first one, but I repurchased it. A Smashbox Halo Healthy Glow All-in-One Tinted Moisturizer SPF 25. The first one I bought in 2020, the second one I repurchased this year. Why? Because, you know, I'm almost out of the first one. So, yeah, that looks like that. So, this can be used as a primer as well as a, as a sort of an on its own face tone leveler. And that is how I like using it with my mask while going out. Just, you know, the peripheral areas, that's it. And, you know, when you wear foundation just on one part of the face, it looks very odd. Yeah, if you are to remove your mask, it looks awkward. Tinted moisturizers, they blend so well, you can't really tell. Yeah, I really like tinted moisturizers for this reason. Now, 1K Beauty Tinted Moisturizer, obviously. Innisfree Simple Label Tinted Moisturizer, also 3 Medium is the shade that I have. SPF 30, people. Unfortunately, not oil-free. While I have repurchased this, yeah, this one's new, this one's my... Uh, first one while I have repurchased this um, and, and the sunscreen is purely physical mineral sunscreen people uh, I think I like the others better and I won't be repurchasing after these two are completely over now this should have come under eye makeup products but I didn't do the dedicated eye makeup products video I did an eyeshadow video favorites of this year this is the bomb this was also a 2020 purchase, but I didn't get around to testing it out or opening it until very recently. I didn't, I swear, it was sealed. I didn't open it until very, very, very recently. Uh, so what is it? Essence Lash Princess Mascara, people, the hype is real. I'm not coming too close to the camera because you don't want to see my horrific skin at close quarters. But yeah, believe me when I say this actually makes me look like I have eyelashes. Not false effect or anything, but I have peach fuzz instead of eyelashes. Thanks, mom and dad, for getting married to each other and doing that to me. But, uh, yeah, uh, no mascara makes me even look like I have anything apart from peach fuzz. Apart from long comb hip nose and a couple of very, very spendy ones. And I couldn't afford them, you know, anymore. Uh, and, you know, this is mind-blowing. It makes me wonder why on earth I blew all that money on long comb hip nose and, you know, uh, Yves Saint Laurent, Four Seal, and all those others. Yeah, this one is incredible. All those benefit roller lash and whatever. You know, no point. This one, the bomb, makes me easy. It is dummy proof. It is foolproof, people. Um, it just makes me look like I have eyelashes. Incredible. Will I repurchase? Absolutely will. Once I run out, though, you know. Otherwise, what's going to happen is it's going to be a complete waste and I can't afford to buy anything else anytime soon, beauty-wise. So those are the five makeup products that I have absolutely loved this year. I know three of them are tinted moisturizers. You'll see a lot of tinted moisturizer from now on on this channel because I've just discovered the wonder that tinted moisturizers are. Uh, so which are your favorite makeup that is base, foundation, mascara, etc.? Face related. I know I have no blush or bronzer here. I haven't bought a single blush or bronzer in 2021. Uh, do tell me which your favorites have been in the comments below. I would love to know. So that's all from me for today. Thank you for watching this video. Please do give me a thumbs up. Please do hit the subscribe button. Please do ring the notifications bell. And I'll speak to you soon.